we're talking about composing and how you're, you're really a composer as well as a performer. And I was just wondering, are all your songs from the Baha'i writings or do you write some songs yourself and, and are they all on Baha'i themes? I write lots of different kinds of music and uh, sometimes instrumental, so just the harp is playing. Um, but my favorites are to take the writings of the Baha'i faith and set them to music. But other ones, for example, I have um, recorded a CD called Sweet Mothers and Angels a few years ago, and that is focused on women, you know, the lives of grandmothers, mothers, and daughters. And uh, so some of those pieces that I composed um, are about, for example, a daughter leaving home and the mother, you know, looking at her life and wishing she could be near but knowing that the daughter has to leave. So kind of a poignant thing. Another one is um, called Let's Be Angels and uh, it's about a mother losing a young child and the way that the two souls still connected with each other are having a conversation between the two worlds and the child is in a sense comforting the mother. Um, so per, I guess human and personal um, kinds of pieces. I always wonder when I'm playing, you know, what are people experiencing? Because it's really not up to me to give them an experience, but rather to have the experience myself and then just see what happens, you know. So uh, a lot of times um, people will be taken back somewhere. They remembered, you know, their mother singing this lullaby or um, perhaps um, I don't know, it, it brings up emotion. It seems to, to evoke emotion, um, longing and emotion and um, joyfulness. And a lot of people say, you know, listening to the harp after a long day or week of work is a great way to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs>